Welcome back, another episode. Following several episodes focused on Ben's familial history, Quantum Leap Season 1 Episode 14's examination of Addison's is welcome. Although her response to seeing her father truly brings home how awful her memories of him are, we have known that she didn't have a good connection with her family. It goes without saying that guest performer Brandon Routh is most well known for his appearances as Superman in the 2006 film Superman Returns and the Atom. Ray Palmer in several Arrowverse television shows, thus Addison was born to be a superhero. Ben is a well-known pacifist by nature and by choice, thus he has no idea how to act in a military environment. As it stands, given how frequently he is overheard talking to Addison, he definitely ought to have been taken off duty for a mental health evaluation as soon as he arrived. In light of the modifications they make to Lady Augustine's life, it will be interesting to watch if Addison begins to recall her upbringing in a different way. By correcting the US Tamper rescue, they have permanently changed Captain Drake's history, the significance of Augustine's own darkness, and the lives of the 170 rescued crew members' families. The obsessiveness of famous literary captains like Blig and Ahab is echoed in Captain Drake's mental illness. Despite having a legendary career, the man is flawed and still reeling from a recent loss. The implication is that men, particularly those in military environments, have few options for coping with loss and bereavement. Drake targets the alleged Chinese danger by transforming the agony of his loss into a combative spirit. He becomes a threat to both the opposition and his own team since it clouds his judgment. The chain of command and his exo's hero worship make it almost certain that he will ignite World War III. The fact that Addison's father was actually filling in for Drake when the Tampa's distress signal was disregarded causes a dramatic change in how she perceives her father. Magic is able to provide an explanation of Magic's purpose from a military standpoint. But in the privacy of his quarters, Augustine reveals even more to Ben. Addison can't help but wonder how she ever lived without this man. As she observes him attempting to uphold Drake's reputation while acting in the best interests of the Montana and Tampa crews, her comprehension grows. She might not have seen that he had adorned his quarters with mementos and pictures of her and her mother. Isolation can be a self-preservation strategy, similar to Polonius' counsel to Laertes in Shakespeare's Hamlet but it will also prevent anyone from ever getting near enough to care for or support you. Addison is a hologram, hence she can only speak to Ben, according to logic. She is more like a ghost than someone. The audience can only hope that her comments are felt rather than heard when she is by herself with her father on the bridge. It still amazes me that Caitlin Bassett is playing Addison Augustine, which you probably already knew after reading TV Fanatic's interview with her. She has performed admirably throughout this first season. But holy Hannah, with this performance, she blows it out of the water. The emotional moments where she conjures the child who simply wanted her father to smile now come in first place on my list of the greatest Addison moments, beating away her no, mamming sequence from Quantum Leap Season 1 Episode 5. Ben relies heavily on the team's expertise and solutions to salvage the Montana, and the Tampa, even though they are generally put on the back burner. A poignant reminder that every fight has several sides is provided by Magic's encounter with his former Chinese adversary. Ian's theories about why Ben's leap brought him to Addison's father are interesting to consider. Ben also possesses mathematical magic. I adore it when a nerd or genius leads the charge. Regarding naval procedure and military convention, I'm sure there are some out there who would find fault, but I thoroughly enjoyed this journey. I think this is the first time attempting to complete the Leap's mission, saving the crew of the Tampa, has gotten so out of hand that it threatens to launch World War III, and the stakes feel frighteningly real. Of course, there's the eccentric yet efficient LT, Walker in the communications department, or should I say Martinez Leaper, who anticipated that. And, really, what's his issue? One wonders if Martinez and Ben might have enjoyed working together on the Quantum Leap project in an alternative timeline, given how well they got along when he couldn't see that Rossi was Ben. Does Martinez's mission to save the Tampa crew also imply that Martinez, who is visibly older than when he encountered Ben in Salvation, leaps in accordance with Ben's rules? Or was it to reveal the minefield in China? Or to guarantee Drake's dismissal from command? What if, in a different version of events, something else had gone wrong and needed to be corrected? Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe our channel.